Come on. Let's go. Do I treat? There it is. Works every time. <sighs> so part of working in a modern shop is that you might be given a task to do. In this case, I was given a post provided by Craig and told to modify it. Now I have a 75 pound little air hammer on my side of the studio. And it does fine. I put the combo dies on here so I could aggressively forge it out on the fullering side and then clean it up on the flat die side. Things get off center, so you have to pay attention to what's going on. In this case, I put the shoulder up tall and knock down that center stem. Breaking the corners gives it another little little detail, little facet. I'm using the vise because it's such a hard thing to hang on to to mark it, but I needed to draw a line and mark where my grooves are going to start. So you measure from both sides. I think I came down an inch on each side and put my center punch marks. Changing the dies anytime you are, you know, you gotta turn the hammer off. I lock the die in the upper position so everything's easy to get at. A little hot grooving under the hammer. In the shop we call this walking the line. Because when you're you're hitting it, you can feel it on the notch and continue to just walk down the notch as you're forging the line down. Now I probably should have just put this in the cold forge because I was not aware of how hard it was going to be to twist this. I think uh, I thought I was a little bit stronger than I imagined. But it did not want to twist. See Axel in the background? A little concerned, but I don't think he was impressed. Took a few heats. And then you can see that little, there's a little curl in it. And ended up heating it back in the forge and using the vise to straighten it up. So thank you for watching. Check out DirtySmith.com. Thanks guys.